What's good YouTube? It's your host Sho Santana and you are now watching MVP Magazine. So Amazon has decided to dip its toe into the wide world of video game adaptations and have decided to launch a television series based on the RPG Fallout. And as a big fan of adult dramas and video games, especially video game adaptations, I'm sure nothing can go wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, there are definitely times when studios get video games adaptations correct. I mean, actually, hold on, I forgot about these. A Need for Speed movie? Is a Seriously? Who, who asked for that? <laughs> back, back to the video, back to the video. Now, as stated before, not all video game and comic adaptations come out bad, especially nowadays when a lot of producers and directors may have grown up being influenced or inspired or maybe even being a total fanboy or girl of the material that they're making. So when I initially saw the first Amazon trailer for Fallout, I wasn't surprised by the way they was able to capture the gritty mood and overall atmosphere of the game because Jonathan Nolan said he wanted to make the show that he wanted to see as a Fallout fan. And I find this quote really interesting because he didn't choose to adapt or recreate any of the mainline stories from the Fallout games. No, rather he made an original story set firmly in the fallout universe so from the look from the feel from the events of everything that's happening for anyone that's played any of the fallout games you can see straight away this is fallout and because of this it allows the narrative to have complete freedom to breathe and for them to create new and complex characters which we still care about but still work in the grand scheme and world of fallout which is a good idea and to be honest, I reckon things like this are going to be the direct future of video game and maybe comic book adaptations, especially ones which don't have a firm story in place or iconic characters which the series can't do without. <clears throat> now, speaking of the show itself, it focuses on three main characters. Lucy McLean, a plucky young female protagonist who has spent her entire life in a fallout vault and for those who have played the game yeah she's pretty much the main character the person whose shoes we've been in since fallout 3. next up we have our boy maximus who is representing the brotherhood who's yep he's getting to wear the power suit Whew, i'm not sure if putting a black man in a power suit was a good idea but yeah i'm with it i'm, I'm definitely with it so yeah, I'm, I'm all for it and we have our boy goggins the ghoul who I'm not going to say too much about him, but yeah, he's definitely one of my favorite characters. And all of the characters have managed to maintain a spirit of fun and melodrama, which at the same time is a little bit cliche for these TV dramas we have right now, is so Fallout. And I'm really happy they managed to bring all the comedy, all the gore, all that great stuff we love from Fallout into the third dimension. And the fact that these are new characters allows people who aren't exactly familiar with Fallout or fans of the games to get into the show and actually start to watch it, which is a, this is a, good, this is a good idea. I gotta give it to Amazon. So I'm not gonna lie. That being said, I have not completely finished watching the show just yet. So what I will do is I will break down my reviews in two parts via episodes like normal people <laughs> and not do the whole show at once. But that being said, if you are a fan of Fallout, I definitely think you should go and check this out. When I saw episode one and two, I immediately knew that this was something that I would want to finish. So yeah. If you're a fan of Fallout, go check it out. If you're not a fan of Fallout and you're into things which are funny, has a little bit drama, suspense, romance, action, this, this could be your show too. So yeah, stay tuned for my Fallout TV show review. And yeah, 
another good thing about this game, which I almost totally forgot. Oh, and I, and I, and I said game instead of show. But there you go. To say on to my next point, it's actually made me feel like going back and playing the Fallout games. Now, wasn't always the biggest Fallout fan. Shouts to my boy T for putting me up on this series and stuff. It was definitely more his thing than my thing. But yeah, I've went back, copped all the games and stuff. They're available for cheap on sale right now on Steam. So if you are on Steam, I recommend going and picking up the older Fallout games. You've got Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, which is actually known as the best one on sale right now. And you can get them all in a collection with Fallout 76 for about 12, 11 pounds. That's how much I paid. So yeah, um, definitely got me back into playing the older games and whatnot, which is great. Oh, oh yes, you also get Fallout 1 and 2 in that bundle as well. I mean, come on. Come on, come on, how could you hate on that? But yeah, Fallout, Bethesda, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you, Amazon, I see you there, okay? So yeah, what? stay tuned for the reviews of the episodes and maybe even the older games. But yeah, Fallout, sayonara.